Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Adventures in Arcane Space. Once again, our players are... Hi, I'm uh, Corporal Hagermus, and I play a gift fighter. Hi, I'm Davy Big Mac Shepherd. I play Brax Miek, who's a human fighter from somewhere close to Brow. Hi, I play... I'm G-Man. I play Yeldon Tri-Fi, a elven ranger from Realm Space. I'm James. I play Akar, him paladin from Brawl. Play by Lysana, an elven wild mage. Hi, I'm Zachar. I play Laftal Mingle, the uh, specialty priest and thief. All right, we Let's left go. off last time in the middle of a combat. So let's go ahead and uh, get back to that. Combat. It only applies for the ones involved. Well, you know, I mean, if you if you want to sit out, you can. Uh, of course, some people are uh, uh, forced <laughs> to sit out. Hi, Higamus. <laughs> <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. Everybody can handle us. They don't need me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so um, it's... I, I lost my longsword last time, if I remember. Yes, you did. Yes, it uh, it did go flying down the hallway. Good I... thing I have an arsenal of weapons on my back. <laughs> I think he held on any. He had like a one turn left on battlefield. I'm pretty sure. Okay. It ends on this round, basically after this round. I I hope you uh, remember your your spell durations and stuff like that because. Yeah, it was only that one. Because okay. dust over wore out. Well, he got it killed. <laughs> <laughs> it, much, it, it applies. <laughs> I pretty much carry an armory on me at all times. <laughs> which which is handy. Which is handy. All right. So um, it is time for the next round. So uh, everyone roll initiative. If there's any questions, if anyone needs uh, reminders on uh, how things were going or anything like that, please do I might have a question first. that may not be <laughs> appropriate to uh, telling in front of the rest of the party, though. So I'm going to be having to you. Okay. Have we still got any more um, opponents around us on this floor? I know Braxton was searching rooms. Uh, you have not seen any. Right. Okay, I'm going to be switching to my, uh, I think it's my footman's base. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> bless you. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Uh, Braxton's going to say to Oka, if, if you look over, oh, is he near Oka? Where is I'm Oka? downstairs and you're upstairs. Oh, Okay. Now, I'm he, engaged he, in combat at the moment. He is directly down the ramp, so you can see him down the ramp. Yeah. Oh, and there's monsters down the ramp. Yeah. Yeah, they're preoccupied. <laughs> Help! What can yeah, I see? Okay. Uh, right now, you can you can see that down the ramp there is uh, combat going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was I still using that orcish warhammer, or did I get ages? But did I get the uh You're the using the Orcus Warhammer. Using the magic right, okay. Oh, he, was, he was using his longsword. Oh yeah, you were using longsword in combat. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and let me see sword. what your uh, question was, uh Did I <clears throat> I didn't click on my token. Terrible. Um, I've changed it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because you should all be in there. Um, I'm not exactly sure why you're asking that, Laptal. <laughs> Did he ask something weird again? I, it's not exactly weird, it's just I, I, I need a little bit more information from him to answer his question. Oh, okay. Um, the answer is that yes, there's plenty in there that you can do that with. All right. you're, you're welcome to um, just... You know, what, whatever you want there is, is fine. How's that? Uh-huh. Yeah, probably the last thing I mentioned them. All right, let's see... Also, I'm still invisible. 
Uh, yes, you are. Oh, you got greater invisibility on you, do you? Improved yeah. invisibility. It's called. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, and, so Braxton can't even uh, see me. That's true. Yes, Braxton cannot see you. Um, but he does know that you went down there to fight. Leva still has a few mirror images. Okay. A few more rounds, I think. Yes. I think I'm going to put a symbol on myself to remember that I'm invisible. Okay. The little ninja. Oh! Didn't know you could do that. Yeah, you click on your token and you click the thing below the cog. Alright, and then I just need to roll for the uh, rest of the creatures. Yeah, this uh, though this does mean that Yeldon and the NPC are the only ones that they know are fighting them. Well, they know they, that you're there because I think you hit them. Yeah. But they don't know where I am. And your sword became visible when you dropped it. Oh, yeah, but that flew across the that flew across the floor. So right, but know. they they know you're there, but they can't. But you're uh, they're they're not unaware of your uh, existence. Um, okay. but you're still getting the the essentially minus four to armor class because of that. Which puts me at minus eight to hit. And yes, Lava. The A there is that uh, is that uh, one of the fuzzy objects or yes. is that okay? That will come with me. Okay. I think it was now when I'm. Yes, right. it was. Yes. And let's see. That is where is his weapon speed? There it is. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm a little lost. Exactly what point? Where we're at in this uh, combat right now. Um. Well, I mean, it was the start of a new round. New round. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, you're waiting to materialize. Yeah. I mean, if there's anything that you want to do, you know, you're welcome to ask me about it and stuff like that. Like, if you want to yeah, try I to just, do something. Yeah, I gotta figure out what I want to do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay yeah. Cool. Thank you. Yes, Laftel? Uh, would telepathy work on Higamus? Would telepathy work on Higamus? Um, yes. Uh, I have to scroll a bit. I think you have to. I mean, number one, you can't see him right now. Yeah, I, um, I realized that. Maybe we go into my second plan that I mentioned. I was thinking about doing. You guys. Uh, so also keep in mind that uh, there is this kind of uh, gloomy shadow, uh, cloud-like uh, manifestation covering all of you guys uh, at the bottom of the ramp. So, oh, yeah. uh, like... you definitely would not be able to see Higamus through that, even if you knew what to look for, which I guess you you would know what to look for since you saw him turn into a shadow, but... Higamus um, is a ghost tippo now. Uh, you, you would not be able to see him through that. Oh, yeah, so there's, there's a fog at the bottom of the ramp. Something like that. He is a ghost tippo, and we'll never see him again. Hmm. So, anyone uh, still need to roll? No. I think a standard action was plus three. That's why I left it as plus three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, need blind ahead. fighting. And a sort. Okay. Uh, that uh, uh, Umber Hulk right in front of you guys is going to uh, attempt to attack you. Uh, it's going to be atta uh, attacking uh, Yeldon. Since okay. he can see him, and all right, uh, he does hit you with a claw, and, uh, and then uh, moves in to bite you. For uh -huh. let's see, where's my uh, damage dice? There they are. Oh, hey, you got symbols on the uh, characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys can the use those. For the fact that I'm currently not, I'm fighting blind. Yeah, there, you you guys can use any any of those uh, you want to keep How? in mind that you're you've got something on you. Hmm. How All dark right. is this cloud at the bottom of the? Um... It's shadow. Yeah. It's shadow. not. It's not dark. It's it's like, uh, um, you know, gloom, twilight, shadow. Yeah, kind of thing. Um. All right. Uh, Yeldon. 
He rakes across you and and then bites you for a total of 19 damage. Ow. Yep. That Why hurts. Ow. Okay. It, uh, <laughs> it is rather painful when they uh, hit. All right. Uh, Royard is down below you guys. Um, and you don't know what's going on down there. Do, do. Luckily, you're fine one at a time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can only only one of them can get to you guys at a time. All right, Yeldon, your turn. Cool. Let's see if I hit him. You can do this. No. Nope. Nope. Uh, Thacko twelve actually. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, no, unfortunately, they're do. hard. Carapaces uh, uh, deflect your your uh, attempts to hit him. I see a debuff by something as well. Uh, that's why I didn't add plus two to my roll. Laftle, right. be combat healer. All right, Laftle. <laughs> Laftle with no healing spells. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh... Okay, what about yours? Yeah, I'm point. kind of invisible in in the middle of combat. <laughs> um, he needs both hands it's... to lay on hands. Um, is there that said object in room six? So yeah, there's no way I'm dropping this shield right now. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, um, Laftel, that is uh, um, that is an armory. So, uh, anything that you can think of that would be in an armory that you want is in there. Yeah. All right. So I grab myself a shoehorn. I don't mind saying. Okay. It's mine. Really simple. Uh. All right. Um. What's what can I see going on with the other ship? How far away is it in the fighting over there? Uh, so you're gonna you you, you dash into the I room and just know grab if... something, and it turns out to be a shoehorn, yeah. and you're going to look yeah, over basically. the edge. Yeah, basically, because I want to know if they're friend or foe for on the time limit. Okay, so you're you're right over here looking over the edge. Um, you can see uh, a lot of humans down below you. There are also uh, a couple Umber Hulks, and they are fighting. Um, as far as you can tell from up here, um, other than the the Umber Hulks, uh, there appears to be uh, humans, uh, a scattering of some dwarves, maybe elves or half elves in there as well. Do they look organized, like a part of an order? Um, they don't look like a mercenary a unit. Uh, they are pretty disorganized, like almost everyone has different uh, equipment. Adventurers! <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, could they just... Uh, can I start flying down, I guess, towards them? Uh, I've still got Sanctuary on. Yes, let me so. go ahead and reveal <laughs> what you see. Let's see... If if there's any elves, I'm going to go specifically for any of the elves. As in, I want to speak in Elvish or something in, to them. Okay, you can see below you. Now, I mean, it, there it's it's a raging melee, so uh, whether you're going to be able to get involved, you know, like actually talk with anyone, no, might or be someone on the other ship, difficult. basically. Is anyone uh, like looking scout. over the banisters or something on the other ship? Okay, that's so where you... I'm going to head towards. All right, he's so he's going to start heading towards the other. Because I can fly, so that's why I'm going to fly over there, basically, and talk to them. All right. Um... Oh boy. Yeah, you preferably, fly over and... Uh, preferably not with a load of arrows through that thing. Well, Sanctuary. Yeah, I know, but... The they suddenly see an elf flying towards them. What do you think they're gonna... How they're gonna react? Fire the arrows! <laughs> That's like another yeah. attacker. Uh, Alright, so as you're flying over, um, you do see someone who uh, you believe is a half-elf, and uh, um, he's surrounded by uh, some archers who do uh, point their arrows at you, um, and he shouts, uh, Identify yourself! Oh, I identify myself as friend. Don't shoot. I said that in Elvish. I'm not friends of the 
Neogi and Amberhooks, we're fighting against them. We're on the other ship, the Battle Dolphin. We are hired under uh, members of the POTS in order to uh, rescue slaves. The uh, um, the figure uh, gives a signal to the archers near him, uh, who then uh, lower their weapons and, and point them back at the um, the melee going on uh, below you uh, or below the, the the top deck. And uh, um, he says, "It's good to meet you. We're here to help." Oh, that's welcome news indeed. We're currently fighting. Uh, in yeah. The okay. Midst so, of so you're 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 yeah, basically, basically exhausted everything that you could do. Uh, considering that he's not in melee, but he's directing a melee. You yeah, have, he's commanding. Yeah. You you you've told him who you are. He's sort of told you who he is. Um, yeah. So basically, the idea is to identify his friend and foe. Yeah, and that's about all that you've been able to you can do in the round. Whether he's telling the truth or not, you don't know. Yeah. Well, I don't know that, but it's something to. Go with. All right, Braxton, your turn. Uh, Braxton's going to try and get down the stairs and see if he's able to engage with the uh, um, Hulks down there without looking above their knees. But it looks a bit crowded down there. It is. Yeah, I think I think you can't engage in melee. Uh, you know that Royard went through the uh, um, the hole to the uh, uh, deck down below that. By the way. Oh, what well, fourteen? Yeah. Keep Why did he go down. down there? Yeah. Well, he couldn't get into this battle, and he he figured, um, hey, uh, Yeldon's useful. back is facing this. Maybe I should take a look to see if there's anything that's going to come through and stab him in the back. All right then. Can Braxton get down there? Yes, you can. All right, he's going to go down there and make sure there's nothing dodgy down there. Okay. Which I guess means I'll go onto a new floor plan. Yep. Let me uh, go ahead and reveal <laughs> that. The six un Umber Hulks down there. Six million Umber Hulks. It's the fog effect down there as well. Uh, it is not. It is. Oh, it is clear. Interesting. But the uh, um, it's not terribly bright down here. Uh. It's just very dim uh, lights set up in the uh, uh, hallways. And uh, a burning sword. Yeah, your sword is ac actually has uh, um, really brightened the, the area by a, uh, a fair bit. Okay, so um, Royard, uh, has, you get down there just as uh, Royard has uh, uh, thrown open a door in front of him. And let me go ahead and reveal something in a second. So you can't see too much. Um, mm -hmm. Could get my lantern out, but then I'm more likely to uh, see the eyes of Umberhulks. Well, you already got a flaming sword that's like a torch. Yeah, your, mm -hmm. your flaming sword is as bright it's as a torch. basically a torch, yeah. Right. <laughs> So, uh, you, you get down there just as Royard uh, throws open this door in front of him, and uh, inside there you see uh, two figures with uh, uh, skin pretty much uh, uh, black as night, uh, who immediately um, start engaging oh. him in uh, combat. Oh. Drill! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Braxton Brax says, we've come to free the slaves. Uh, Royard says, I don't think these are slaves. The slavers. He's, uh, he's basically... Yeah, I do not have... Uh... Oops, I don't have tokens for these guys. All right. Um, the, uh... <laughs> I need to get something on here. The figures are uh, using... Wielding... Let me see what a day... Right down for that. One of the natural One scimitars. Very fire. Uh, they are. They're wielding uh, long swords. Uh. Is Braxton close enough to engage, or does he have to wait around? You'll have to wait around. Okay. 
while I also get the uh, token out for them. Do, do, do. There's a particular tactic they love doing. I wonder if uh, certain people know us. Do you mean flanking or using poison? No, no, no. We'll find out. Oh, you're talking about the drow sleeping poison? No. All right, give me just a second to get the... Tokens, because I meant to, and I forgot. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. It happens. It happens. Um, Leva, your turn. What are you doing? Leva walks, <coughs> walks down to, to, to get herself a picture of what's actually happening down there. Okay, you can do so at the uh, the, the top of the, uh, the ramp. Um... So you don't actually need to go down there if you don't want to, just so you know. Uh, uh, she certainly, if she can see the, the Amber Hulk, she knows that an owl would probably be, be the wrong thing. So she put the owl back and, 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 and try and fish for the dark brown bear. Okay. Um, did you roll with the expectation of doing that? Because No, I rolled with the expectation of going down. Okay. But I rolled. Uh, I, I was thinking that probably next time, if I see the Amber Hawks, I will do this next time. Okay, then uh, I can. I'll let you put the owl back in, and next round you can try to uh, fish out the bear. The bear. Okay. Okay. Bear. Bear. Yeah. All right. So you are at the top. You uh, put the owl away, and that's it. All right, Higamus. All right. Let's see here. What do I want to do? Float. <laughs> Norman. <laughs> do I he seem doesn't to want be... to float. <laughs> I, I don't see, like, any... Do spells just end all, all of a sudden, or do they, like, you can kind of tell when they're about to end type of thing? They, uh, you, you can spell, tell when it? they're about to end in by a matter of seconds. Kind of thing. Like sometimes, yeah, okay. like like. And I don't. Go ahead. I don't see that happening now, do I? No. All right. So. Um. Float behind the Neogi and stand there with the intention to attack them as soon as you kill. I start again. haunting them. Well, see, the thing is, is I don't have very many hit points left, and if they do have something they can hurt me, I don't know if they can. How about you head back to the ship? Much. I don't want to pass all these things. They might notice me again. Or float up back to the top deck. All right. I'm going to go down to this room and then kind of peek in to this room, see if they're – this room here, see if they're watching what's going on or if they know us. Um, <laughs> there appears to be a conversation going on uh, between the two, uh, the Umber Hulk and the uh, Neogi, um, and they are the definitely dark. watching the door. Both doors? Uh, no, not both doors, just the, the the main door from the corridor. Okay, then I'm okay. going to go over to this corner here and kind of chill until I start to get... Uh... Okay. Or, I don't know, do I want to do oh, that? Oh, well, I've, I've made up my mind. I'm up there, so I'm going to be at Okay. Well, why don't you hide in room two? There's nobody in there, and you can take a chance to heal when you get your body back. Well, I'm just going to go try to kill that Yogi as soon as I pop up. But you would have more hit points. That's true. Well, yeah, you, can you, always, you can always try to do that next round, assuming that uh, yep, you don't materialize uh, at the beginning. Because you'll <laughs> materialize at the now. beginning of a round, just so you know. Okay. Oh, well, that's good news. All right, thanks. <laughs> just because that's when, I mean, in in round-based combat, that's that's when things tend to expire. Okay. Uh, let's see, and I need to see if this uh, thing needs an attack roll. The one annoying thing is that they've got catchers back there while we're trying to 
beat through these meat walls. Yeah. Well, that's the way they work. Uh, they didn't notice me as I went in there, did they? Uh, as far as you can tell, no, they did not. Okay. Like, their uh, conversation didn't, like, halt for a second or anything. No, but... no. Um, all right. Uh, one of the uh, two Neogi, um, you can only kind of vaguely see uh, see them, Yeldon uh, and Ocker. Um, they're basically just, uh, you know, silhouettes through the gloom. Uh, but uh, all of a sudden, a uh, um, greenish uh, uh, globe uh, comes flying out through the uh, the, the shadow uh, towards you, Ocker. And oh, no. it hits you. Really? Even with all that, even with all those bonuses? Yep. Because uh, it's It might not unerring. have been a target. Uh, and uh, um, this this green glob splashes on you, uh, and it, it, it f- you feel it burning your skin for seven points of damage. Ow, it was acid. Is it mounting his armor? I don't think it's that kind of acid. Otherwise, it wouldn't have done damage. Eh, maybe. He would, he would have said, you lose a point of AC. Well, it doesn't typically work that way. Um, but uh, it, uh, doesn't have any specific effects on anything like that. Alright, uh, Zarsha is going to attack with her battle axe. Attack Rolling the, uh, Niyogi. She, is she fighting with her eyes closed too? Uh, she is not. She is just trying to avoid the view, uh, the, the gaze of the, uh, uh Umber Hulk, and, uh, she has succeeded... The hit? Uh, succeeded in uh, avoiding the gaze. Suddenly becoming confused. But she does not hit. Um, her her blow also uh, kind of just skitters off its uh, carapace. Uh-huh. Uh, go, Walker, go. Second attack. All right, your turn, Knocker. Let me actually see if you... Uh... Nope, you did not meet its gaze. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Could have been fun. I hit. That uh, is a hit. I, yeah, my my attack with this weapon is a fifteen. All right, go ahead and uh, roll your roll your damage. It okay. is a large creature, by the way. So, one d six plus one, so one d six plus two. Damn it! So three damage. <laughs> Because you forgot your plus one. No, I added. That is including my strength. Oh, okay. So just two damage. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Why? Why is it when I hit, I I seem to always roll minimum. Hang on. Before <laughs> the combat ends, Yeldon had the last turn of his battle fight. Did oh, you? Did you roll? Oh. To roll that. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, that means I might have to look up now. All right. Oh, roll that now, Yeldon. Oh, uh, God. Four. Bear, I'm going to have to look that up as well. I'm Is just that... scrolling for Discord. Wasn't that the one that goes to hit? Uh, defense. Like accuracy. That was accuracy? Uh, yeah, plus two to hit. Oh, should have rolled it earlier. Yep. Plus five, I probably would have hit with both those attacks. Oh, don't you get a second attack? No. No, that's only on the I set. get two attacks on my turn because I have to. Okay. All right. Well, well, Zarsha gets a second attack. And that is a hit. Yay. Uh, She does uh, sink the... Uh, um, uh, axe into its uh, hind, dealing do, do, do. All right, eight points of damage. Where is my longsword anyway? Uh, behind the umber hulks. Where's your yeah. your wolf ran off, didn't it? Okay. Uh, no. the wolf is upstairs. Yeah, yeah, my wolf uh, ran off upstairs because of something of the, that the other did. Yeah. Yeah, his sword is like where that green axe is. 
All right. Great. All right. So I'm going to have to chop through these guys to get my good weapon back. Yep. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, roll for initiative again. Can I... Um... My intention now is to ask uh, like one more thing before flying back. Um, but I can't take a pot shot at someone while flying, can I? Uh, this is like too complex, too many things. I mean, you. I'm just a random yogi or a number hook. I'm I'm not tracking that part of the battle, so. All right, yeah, no, don't worry, no. don't worry. It's not. It doesn't really affect us in any way as the players, because. Yeah, I know. I thought I'd help out just in case while I was on my way back anyway. I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna, for role playing purposes, say you do so, I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, uh, while just, I'm flying back, yeah, I'm just, it, I'm just giving it's them just a shot. It's just not gonna have a, an actual effect. All right, and it's just oh, not. You have just as well effect. as I did on that. Wow. Okay. And everyone's uh, rolled upstairs. Uh-huh. Okay. I need to... Oh, but do you uh, have, have any spells here. left? I have scrolls, which I can use once I get back. But yeah, I still need to like... use a turn to get back. So, um, Braxton, just to let you know, uh, Royer mm -hmm. does look like he's uh, going to be backpedaling a little bit to, um, so that he's It'll not just standing in. there in the doorway. And that will allow That's you good. to get in. And that is going to be... That's good. Too he doesn't know the rule of there. doors. <laughs> Open the door, step to the side. <laughs> a good motto. One day, Praxin will write a um, book about it. <laughs> I did the wrong thing. Let's see. That, is, that should be... Huh. Yeah. So Dude, he's, he's already fuck. backpedaling uh, in case you... Uh, so that you will be able to uh, get in there. Um, I just... Because <laughs> he, he rolled really, really low. <laughs> really bad. I mean, really high. That uh, was not great <laughs> for that part. Can, um, can yeah. Braxton sort of barge him out of the way to get past? Uh, no, I mean, he he's already... You can already see him backpedaling a little bit, um, being a bit defensive. So it's it, uh -huh. not a problem. And... Doo -doo -doo. He looks like he'd make a good shield. <laughs> Even shields wear out after a while, though. Left battering. Okay. That should be it. All right. Um, Yeldon. Very fast. Yeah. I rolled a one. All right, go ahead. Oh, I thought that was a one. Oh, oh I thought that was going to be a one. All right, uh, you do. Uh, the battle fate ended already, right? Yep. Yeah, that was okay. ended. All right, so um, yep, that is a hit. Uh, your second sword does miss. Go ahead and roll for damage. <laughs> oh my God! Why? 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 These rolls are so forgiving. <laughs> yeah. We even have to cap for the for the low roll before, so they <laughs> Roll twenty hates you guys on this yep. adventure. Really, really to be does. Fair, it's better than a one. I didn't have any bad rolls since the dragon encounter. Alright, Laftel. Yeah. Uh yeah, he asked the um elf um one last thing. He asked, What can I I need to run back to my allies because they I need to help them in combat. What what's your identifying? Do you have a company name? A, something that I can relate to my allies, my ship. We're with the pragmatic order of thought. Oh, same. Uh, we're under the same employee. All right, I, I bid you well in combat, and I fly off. Okay. Ah, the pots. Is uh, it, though... Not that any of the rest of you know this. Um... I'm going to start telling them when I get back. Yeah. So I, uh... mm. 
you know, telling the them while they're in the midst miss... of, of combat. One of the moments where you realize that you really miss having Higginus around. <laughs> just cut through everything. You guys don't need me. Yes, we do. We're going to die. die. Lebo wants your, your, your words back. He's around. He's just in a uh, state. Well, where's she going to hide? Behind a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> what? What is is, is uh, Braxton not uh, not good enough to hide behind now? Is that is that what you're saying? Uh-huh. He's too far away. He just he's, walked off. He's I'm less the only squishy one you can there. hide behind, and I'm invisible. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Le- Lever finds uh, Braxton too annoying to hide behind him. I'll have to enlarge you to be able to hide behind you. <laughs> I wish yeah. you could. I wish you could enlarge me. Then I could actually uh, do some reasonable damage. All right, Braxton, uh, down on the uh, level below, um, in front of you, uh, you see uh, Royard just uh, uh, dip to the side as a, a, an arrow comes flying out of the room ahead of him and hits the wall, the, the wall to your right, and you do hear a sizzling sound uh, when it hits. Acid arrows. No, that would be a, that could be the draw sleep poison. All right, Higamus. All right, so they don't notice me still, right? Correct, I can tell. So you go back into. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll go back into two, and I'll just kind of keep on looking out the underneath the door. Okay, that was a good idea. As somebody mentioned, I did. All right. Um, they, there, there seems to be a, a, an argument going on between the, the, the two of them. The, uh, the Neogi is, uh, um, almost shouting at the, uh, the Umber Hulk, uh, who is still standing near a barrel. And I don't make noises, right? No. All right. Uh, I mean, you're, does you're it shattered. seem like I could say stuff? Okay. I know. Does it seem like I can say stuff and I can hear it? No. No. Uh, Leva, your turn. Um, Lara is digging into her into the pocket uh, into that uh, bag for the for a bear for something really big. Okay, let's see. Where's a pocket bear? Would you need one? <clears throat> All right, Lara, yep, exactly. high or low? Pick one, high, high. or low? <laughs> high. High. She rolls high. Hopefully, okay. she pull out an elephant. Oh yes, that would that's be nice. awkward to fit an elephant around here. You can. I will let you throw whatever you pull out behind the uh, rear Umber Hulk. Oh. Okay. Get it to go after the Nyogi. Get it to go after the Umber Hulk from behind. Uh, I already did roll. I'm just uh, checking to see what you get. You do not pull out a bear. What a pity. Pull out something big. Like a pull out a Wolverine. That's what ends up being like a Well let, let, guinea let, pig. let's let's ask Cole like... what he says. He he knows what I pull out, so Okay, you so you though. pull out a, a a fuzzy gray object and uh without really thinking about it, you uh uh toss it down uh the the corridor. Uh mm-hmm. and it instantly forms into a um uh, a ram. Oh, a nice. ram. A ram. Yes. Okay. Charge the with, with horns and everything. Yes. Yes. Good. Perfect. So charge you wanted to the charge the neogi. Uh, yes. Okay. Go ahead and give me an attack roll. Oh, what's that? That's a d twenty. <sighs> Is it based off her attack? Or... No, it's based on its hit dice. Oh. You might actually hit with that ram. <laughs> Rams, I think that's I, the first I, time. I, I Rams have a charge attack because. Uh, yeah, there isn't enough room for a charge attack though. Uh, it uh, um, runs up to the front Niyogi and just butts it with its horns. Go ahead and roll one d four plus one for damage. Oh, was it doing damage? Was it casting a spell? That one was not. No. It probably wasn't expecting to be attacked in melee. Yeah. Not bad. All right. Uh, it hits for three points of damage, uh, and and they are definitely surprised by this. Um, 
Uh, not that you can really see... I mean, you can see just the shadowy figures down the hall. That's really all you can see. Uh, okay. Can the rest of us see the ram? Um, you guys just saw a shadowy object. Um... I, I'm Leva has the item, so I'm I'm fine with her knowing exactly what she um, drew, but we don't drew. know. Yeah. All right. Uh, two uh, figures push their way out. Uh, Royer is uh, backing up. Uh, um, definitely not uh, comfortable with what's going on. Uh, Braxton down below. Good luck mm -hmm. down there, Braxton. Yeah. Drawing. I got a guy in front of me throwing doors open, causing problems. <laughs> hey, look, here's some bad guys. <laughs> oh, God. To be fair, way. they might have just oh. snuck up and started attacking us from behind, so it wasn't I a know, terrible idea. I'm joking. All right, There's so four of them. those two uh, attack uh, Royard. Oh, good god. Oh. Uh, we're gonna lose him and just have Braxton fighting Drowl all on his own soon. Ah, uh, but Ruard is uh, pretty good on uh, defense. He parries their uh, their attacks uh, um, really well. Is he actually fighting defense? On guard! Uh, no, they just rolled really poorly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. Dude. Pretty sure Drow aren't one hit die creatures as an average, though. Uh, well, you don't know. No. Drow are not. Usually that high. They. I wouldn't think so, because they're kind of also player character races as well. Alright, the. Uh, uh, you guys can't really see what's going on, but uh, um, Leva, you instinctively know that uh, um, your ram is being attacked. Uh-huh. And I need you to roll a, a d20. I'm saving, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, you shouldn't have said that, you know? It would have stopped at 18. <laughs> Okay. All there right. You go. And uh, the ram takes one million damage. <laughs> Enough damage to kill it. Um, uh -huh, yeah. Poor ram. Oh, uh, you can just throw another one next time, Lava. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Zarsha is going to uh, uh, attack. Kill it. Well, on the bright side. It probably saved me from an acid thing in the face. Mm. Yes, actually, you, that that did. Uh, the uh, the the Neogi definitely would have uh, targeted one of you three down at the end, um, if not for that. Uh, not for that. <laughs> Thank for, you, Leva. You saved one of us, baby. Mm. All right, Zarsha does manage to uh, hit the Neo the uh, Umber Hulk in front of her. Uh, her axe cleaves into its carapace. I should actually check to see if she is. Has met its gaze. Please, no. she does not. Thank goodness. She's the only one of us that can hit reliably. <laughs> I can hit reliably. <laughs> Casually insult the rest of your team. Well, to be fair, he's also insulting himself. I am. <laughs> I'm self-deprecating. That that uh, yeah, Umber we're... Hulk is uh, um, uh, bleeding profusely. There is Umber Hulk uh, uh, Icker, uh, Icker dripping down onto the floor now. Oh, Yummy. But uh, it is uh, going to counterattack on uh, Zarsha. Oh, thank God. No, she didn't crit. It's just oh, so when you dead. say bleeding, that's usually a crit. So... Oh, he's, he's less than ha half. Oh, that, that, that Umber Hulk is not happy. Did that Umber Hulk miss? Or that Umber Hulk hit all three. <laughs> Oh no! Paul's All Arsha. three. That is uh, that is not. There great. goes our. There goes the one of us that can actually hit it reliably. Damn it! Well, it's better than one of us, I suppose. At the end of the day. <laughs> what are you talking about? My Thaco is twelve and fifteen, has... respectively, with my two swords. Yes, but you keep rolling under ten. Shush. <laughs> 
the Umber Hulk just tears into uh, Zarsha uh, with both of its claws and uh, bites, but she is still standing. Thank Yay. God! How how are how are you alive? Says the voice from nowhere. Tough fighter. <laughs> yeah. A fighter that can take a hit. All right, Braxton, your turn. Okay. <clears throat> I guess Braxton should not run over the hatch. I mean, you, you basically. I mean, you're, you're, kind of if you if you're standing on the one of the tiles, you're you're standing on the edge. It's fine. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, could he go here? Yeah, he, he can go. He can go to the uh, go to his left. Oh, uh, yeah. down to the side, that way. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah you can do that. Cut them off, I suppose. Right. Well, I guess. Um... Long sword them into oblivion. Yeah. <laughs> Introduce him to your flaming sword. Guess he's going to try and chop down the guy coming out the door. Actually, do they get a light right. penalty for fighting against a bright light? Uh, torches aren't bright light. Oh. That is Ooh. it. And um, They're not large, just in case you're asking. <laughs> okay. They're smaller than you, probably. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know how much fire damage he does. I don't think we have We've enough. never figured it out because we oh, these ones today. Oh, what that... is with us in the one? <laughs> is that the third one on the attack row? <laughs> uh. Bra Braxton singes these targets here. So uh, I, I will. I'll tell you now that uh, the um, blade is a. It, it it's a plus one weapon. So the. Uh, ex yeah. It doesn't do like an extra one d six fire damage or something like that. Really? No, that's flaming not that's not how flaming that? swords work. The way that they work, though, is that they're really good against certain things. Mm. Uh, I thought they like would trolls. do like extra fire damage. Nope, that's not how uh, flame tongues work. <coughs> so uh, it's not a one; it's a two or something. So, let's oh. see. You have strength on yourself, right? Uh, that's still affecting you. Oh, uh, Leva, did you um, cast that? Yeah, she probably did. Yeah, because she didn't I cast did. it on her. Yes. Her. All right. Yeah. Um. She cast that a week ago. <laughs> no, 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 but that was two weeks ago. All right. Uh, Royard is uh, going to uh, attack. The same one? Teamwork? Yep. Dreamwork? Teamwork is the dream work. And that is a hit. He is, uh, he's wielding a bastard sword. Um, oh, that's a very good weapon. He's in it uh, one-handed, and he also rolled a one. <laughs> what is oh, with us? Is... <laughs> we can be the company of the broken dice. Company of the broken ones. Oh, that's wonderful. He does get a second attack, though. So does Zarsha. Oh, Hawker, I don't know if that was... Yeah. My Hawker. turn. I also get the second attack. No, he doesn't. No, I'm not using my long sword, so I don't, which Practice is awful. Though. Uh, okay, let's see if I can actually hit this time. You know what's unfortunate about this situation? No! Nope. Is... What's your Thacko? My Thacko is 15 with this weapon. Yep, that's a miss. Alright. Uh, Zarsha, uh, Braxton, you get, an, you get a second attack, right? Yeah, okay. I didn't know if anyone else was getting a second attack before me. Uh, but... Zarsha does. And she does hit... Uh, we're relying on Zarsha to kill these. Apparently so. Oh, really? I'm just I'm just hoping she kills it so next round I can I have a chance to try to quaff a healing potion. She cleaves right into its skull and it is it collapses down dead. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Alright. Hey. Braxton, your turn. <laughs> right. Okay, so Braxton's gonna have another Swing at the same guy. All right. Oh, that might be a miss. What's your Thacko? Uh, Thacko with the flaming longsword is 13. That is a miss. They do have uh, uh, buckler shields as well. Mm. And uh, Royard makes his second attack. And he misses. Oh right. boy. Next... Initiative. Yep, initiative time. 
I'm drinking a the scrolls pot. are cast at spell, though, weren't they? Uh, and casting time, yes. Casting time of the spell. Yeah, so they, they, they go with the casting time of the spell. I think that's plus five. I'm just going to double check. Oh, well, good God, I'm I get, slow. I get worse initiative rolls than even last old rolling tens. And <laughs> level rolling tens. Oh, God. I'm going to check the Thank you. See, Arco's receiving uh, help. Zarsha's pretty slow too. Ooh, that's not great. Uh -huh. <laughs> Love us enlarging Zarsha. Oh, <laughs> actually, wait, wait. I'm changing my action. Uh, what is the initiative for Lay on Hands? Uh, remember you're 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 putting down your weapon and your uh, shield. Yeah, you'd have to drop both your items. Well, I just, okay. What would that be though? Would that be a I, plus? I don't. It's that, plus three. Would, it's plus three. Yell, yelled and going for one of one of his healing potions. My idea. I'm not healing myself. I'm. When yeah. Zarcha moves ahead on her turn, I'm planning on placing my hands. I'm planning on healing her. Okay. I don't. Does she look that bad off? She was hit three times, so... Probably. She was hit three times, so she needs it anyway. Yeah, she was hit with all three of the Umber Hulk's attacks. Umber Hulk's do a lot of damage. And uh, on my next turn, I'm going to pick up my stuff again, but on this turn, I want to help her. Well, remember, there's another Umber Hulk behind the uh, the one that just went down. That's now going to join the fray. Well, it can't, it can't see me. Hmm. It will <laughs> once you drop your weapons and pick them back up again. Look... Do you have a better idea? Let him. Let him. If he, if he wants to do that, let yeah. him do it. That's fine. I'm just keep in mind it's that there is be something inter... behind. It's gonna be the so caliber floating weapon. Well, that's the thing. Player cards just need to learn this in in game. So yeah. Yeah. Look, I want to heal the one that. Uh, this is my only way of healing without actually getting out a potion, and the, and that's more cumbersome. Yeah. No, that's fine. Uh, definitely do that. And it's a role playing thing yeah. as well. So go and, for it. Good and, luck. Uh, lay on hands heals for uh, quite a bit, so it's uh, it's pretty good, especially as you go up in levels. Yeah, and of what, it's let's twice see. your level. And it can't it? be interrupted. Yeah, can it? it cannot be interrupted. Correct. So do I drop the stuff immediately when I start this? You put or... them down when you. Yeah, or I mean, do you, I do you it on them... my round? You, you drop them right away at, at the at the beginning of the round. Okay. And let's see. Uh... Iron shields normally strapped. Uh, it depends on the type of shield. Yeah, but see, I mean, it would still be in in, in the way you uh, they're they're strapped, but you also have to hold it. There's no like other than bucklers. Yeah, every I know you shield hold is too big and, and bulky for you to not hold onto it. And and if you if you let go of that that hold, you really can't just slide off. I mean, it won't slide off, but it's too bulky and cumbersome. You don't have you you can't control where it moves and stuff like that. Well, I'm taking a risk. Well, you got to make it on the cast anyway. Yeah, that's fine. And that is going to be <laughs> okay. All right, everyone has rolled. Yeah. If I still have my longsword, I wouldn't be doing this, but... <laughs> Alright. Um... What is Hikamas doing? Does he All scaring. Just... Yeah, there's uh, something that's moving before Hikamas. Ah. Really? Oh. Yep. Something can move before Hikamas? Uh, uh, it's what happens when you get a a, a one and your, ca and your casting time is one. Really, really good. Wow. Um, yeah. Streaking out from uh, uh, the two shadowy figures down the hall uh, and striking uh, each one of you guys. You mean Yeldon and Ocker? Yeldon, Ocker, and Zarsha. Ocker, you actually get hit twice. Um, so. Magic missiles. They, you've seen Leva's magic missiles, and they don't look quite the same. Um, although I, you, you have seen something similar before. Um, they're kind of uh, um, greenish and sickly in color. 
Uh, and I'm going to need all three. I'm going to need both of you to uh, make saving throws versus spell. Oh. And Yeldon, you take four points of damage. Yeah. Is this a mind affecting effect? It is not. Zarsha takes two points of damage. I have a theoretical ring of protection. Any bonus? Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. You don't know what the bonuses are yet. Okay. So, what is this spell? Uh, yes, you get the plus four bonus for being invisible. Oh, so that's a uh, okay. So. And you also take Doesn't eight points of damage. Oh Does my wisdom... God! How? Doesn't uh, he? Does wisdom apply? <laughs> no, wisdom does not apply. It's not mind affecting. So how much damage? You took eight points of damage. Damn it! And um, now... Yeldon, you failed. Yep. Uh, All right. I was asking if wisdom modifier applies. No, no, no. wisdom no. does not. It's not mind affecting. Uh, Zarsha okay. does succeed. Well, at least one of us succeeded. Uh, How much so damage was, did I take? Both of you are. Uh, you took uh, four points of damage. Four. Yeldon. And both of you uh, feel your bodies slow down and become sluggish. Uh, so you're getting Slowed. half the attack rate. Uh, that is not going to uh, modify your lay on hands, however, Ocker. Uh-oh. Well, now my target is probably going to change. All right, Higamus, your turn. I'm guessing I didn't uh, form back up. No, I would let you know no. at the uh, beginning of that start. Just, being able to turn. Just keep All hanging right. out, Higamus. Yeah, I'm just going to keep uh, watching, Floating. see what's going on. Okay. Float. Look for a blue flashing light above your head. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, the uh, oh. two uh, figures in front of uh, you, Braxton, one is attacking you and the other is mm -hmm. attacking uh, Royard. Uh, the one attacking you misses. And the one attacking Royard misses. Um, but That's there good. is a shout from uh, further in the room, uh, followed by... By, let me check to see if there's an attack roll on this. Do, 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 do. Looks like there is not. Followed by complete and utter darkness. Um, all right, so a uh, a flaming arrow comes streaking out of uh, the room, uh, followed by a second one. Um, so, Braxton, I need you to make a saving throw versus spell. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's like a seventh level. Rayard fails his saving throw. Uh, let's see, saving throw versus spell is 13. Uh, actually, I that is realize. a fail. Hmm. What, the weird... what is with us? Hold, hold on, Yeldon. Yeldon, is, what what was that? I was just thinking that was a dodging one, right? Would the would a dexterity reflex? Apply to that? Yeah, but it's not that much. I mean, his, his modifier isn't that much, that high. No, so for plus mine. One. Oh, for yours, no. But... Okay. Because it's it's an automatic hit. The saving throw is against the effect. This was like half fire damage or something. Uh, Braxen, uh, the, uh, arrow hits you for 24 points of damage. 24? Oh. What wow. the? I mean, it's flaming arrow at, like, 7th level. It's two <clears throat> lots of 3d6. Yep. Something like that. Wow. Are you unconscious? Are you still alive, or? Still alive. Are you standing or unconscious? Uh, he's, and... he's still alive. Roar takes uh, 18 points of damage. Ugh. Ouch. Wait, mm. One of those uh, wiser courses of actions to retreat. <laughs> uh, Royard uh, is going to swing his blade. Uh, he does uh, shout to you, Brax, and uh, maybe best we leave. He does hit. Ooh, 
and uh, he does kill the one in front of him. Nice. All right, Yeldon, your turn. Okay, I'm taking, basically, I'm taking a step back. Okay. Drinking a health potion. A temporary one. All right, 2d4 plus 2. Not too bad. All right, Leva, your turn. The wall, so. I enlarge Sasha. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, roll for level variation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you wild surge? Wild surge. Target enlarged. <laughs> oh, wow, it's like double. <laughs> It doubled. <laughs> no, it didn't. It's just that the the effect was literally the spell you were casting. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, Zarsha grows to be. Um, uh, she can't actually get uh, the the full size in here because uh, you're still looking at uh, uh, ten foot high uh, corridors. Uh, but she's about ten foot, ten feet high. So. Um, <laughs> She's now a tall broad. Uh, she's going to be doing 50% extra damage. Good. Does right. she have any additional hit points? No, uh, Enlarge well, doesn't give doesn't, extra hit points. Enlarge doesn't do that. Okay. All right, Braxton, your turn. Well, hey. Okay, let's have a couple of goes at um, killing this drow before... The one right in front of you is dead. Um, right. You could get out without getting an attack of opportunity. Otherwise... Uh, it's you very likely to... that you might Braxton want to... just run away. Either that or drink a potion. Well, yeah. you, you... I you can you can run away, but you've already decided to you know, you already rolled for attacking. Yeah, okay. Uh Braxton <laughs> Braxton says to was it Ra... it was uh Royard. Brax says to Royard, Great idea <laughs> And then he runs around here and dives into the hole. So, okay. do you tell Yeldon that there's drow down there? No. He'll find out. No, this is important. So, um... What do you say when you come up? Mm -hmm. Uh, Braxton says, There's some drow down below coming up soon. Oh, boy! <laughs> Are you going to try to... I would recommend you run to the deck, if you can. Yeldon is not running. All right. No, I'm talking uh, to Braxton. He's not got a reason to run, and he won't run. But all right, uh, uh, Zarsha is. Uh... Uh, going before... She's going before the Umber Hulk. She's yep. not. Oh. I assume she wouldn't be too keen on going. In... She's moving up just enough. There's going to be a a, a a gap if anyone else wants to uh, get into. Um... Uh, range. Uh, she is going to attack that Umber Hulk who is coming forward. And she does hit. Thank you. Now Old gets to roll that awkward <laughs> number. Oh no, you 50% extra, it's easy. It, and then doubles oh it. yeah. <laughs> it's 50%, so you could just roll it, you know. But that's where you get like an older number. And uh, her axe cuts deeply into uh, the hide of the Umber Hulk. They rolled up or rolled down? Um, rounded up, rounded down. It, it, I mean, if it's 0. 0.5, it's rounded up. So, All right. The Umber Hulk moves forward and is attacking Zarsha. I'm actually going to just get this dead one out of the way so that it's not there. Oh. It is climbing over its uh, the corpse of the other one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And it does hit twice. Uh, she manages to dodge one of the uh, um, claw attacks, but uh, the second one she hits down. her, and she gets bitten. Come on, don't die, don't die, don't die, or get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> I love how invested you are in this. Well, she's kind of great now at the wall. 
I need her to kill the thing so I can get my sword back. She crumples to the ground, uh, bleeding. Okay. She's, uh, she's definitely help. dying. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. You could heal her. That's what yeah, I'm that doing! <laughs> but you have penalties for combat. Yep, your turn, Ocker. Lay on hands on, on her. Alright. That is 12. Yes. Alright, she, uh, um, you, you uh, immediately draw, uh, lay your hands on her and, um, healing energies infuse her body and, and she, uh, stumbles back to her feet, uh, definitely looking, uh, none too good, however. Laftal, your turn. Uh, Laftal's going to attempt to cast a spell with a 15% chance of failing. Okay. What He's spell? using Cure Moderate on Braxton. So, oh. you want to roll the percent to fail? Yep. Thank you. It's fine. Yeah. We got some life back. Alright, five hit points. I think your mother was a lot better five. than that. That's five barely better than... Cure Moderate is barely any better than Cure Light. It's got a plus one, so the minimum is always better. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's see. Zarsha gets a second attack, but she is taking a penalty. Hey, Ald. Yes. Would I know from my dagger if I can see in darkness with the continual darkness? Is it like pitch black? Is it nothing? From your dagger? Yeah, because I had darkness cast on it. Continual darkness. Uh, I was thinking about cannot, using it as a potential see, retreat. You cannot see in, in continual darkness. Yeah, it's so magical. none of the elves yeah, can see. All right, That might be useful if we want to run away. <laughs> mm. Alright. Um, so Zarsha got her second attack. Uh, did she miss? She did miss. Um, Braxton, are you making a second attack? He ran away. Uh... No, well, he could presumably make a second attack against this Umber Hulk. Yeah. Do so. Well, I mean, he doesn't have many hit points, so. Yeah. Uh, no, oh. he's going to go fishing for something. Oh, my God. Okay. An item. All right. And uh, Royard is. Uh, he is coming back up and he says, Throw down there. Oh, this is, this is not good. And does a light does a light in the other's eye when Braxton said drow, so Laughter's like uh, we're kind of losing here. Where are the others? What do you mean? I oh others? yeah, I uh, mentioned as I was healing uh, Braxton I tell them that we've got allies on our side, telling them we got the members of the pots helping us there, so the other ship is. Yeah, but where are they? They're fighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll take them a while before they get there. That's if they, even if they win. Braxton plus three. No, plus two, actually. Thank you. So... Oh, it was the next round, sorry. Uh, it is. Uh, um, I was just can trying... I just pick up the stuff I dropped to heal her? Yes, yes, that would be your turn. Wait, it's a turn just to pick up the stuff and use it again? To, yep. to Yeah, to, to yeah. re-equip yeah, yourself? Yes, re a sword it's the round. Round. Can can Leva go then to the others and cast uh, a scroll? Um. Yeah. I mean, what? Can what... I not even like back? Okay, I'm not doing. Oh, you that can move. You can move. That would move. just waste my entire turn if I'm you, just no, doing No, you can that. you can move, but you can't attack. Okay. So what would that be? Uh, three. Yeah, three. three. Um, Leva, what what spell do you I want to cast? I would go for flame arrow. I want to see the. Uh, do do we actually see the uh, nail get there? Um, because... you can see them, but they're going to get a bonus to their saving throw. Um, the Umber Hulk would not. All right, yeah. the, uh, but if I could, then I then I go down to the others and I cast the flame arrow on that's level nine on on the Umber Hulk. Uh, you can do so from the top of the uh, ramp. Ooh, oh, level nine. Oh, yeah. then, I, then I do it from there. Okay. You're casting just a level nine spell. Just let her oh. do it. Yeah, let her do it. Yes, yeah, Lapple. That's fine. I've cast level. 
an eight spell, and I had a fifteen percent chance of failing. She's only got a ten. Yeah, well, um, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't yeah, work. If I it's look fine. at it, it doesn't. Yeah. It definitely doesn't work. Yeah, it's fine. I just realised I went into the gloom without rolling. Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, I think you're high enough level. No, I'm the lowest level to party. It's five and six. Unless I leveled. Uh, since I forgot about it, I wouldn't worry about it. The The main effect that I wanted it for was to um, uh, benefit their uh, chances for being hit, uh, hit and stuff like that. Oh. All right. Uh, Higamus, you find yourself uh, fading back into view. Oh, God. Ooh. Thank goodness. Drink that health potion. Drink the health potion. Yeah, I just got to see which one it was I had again. I thought you, you had a have a healing. temporary. Well, I definitely have a temporary, but I think it might have something better. Uh. Maybe. No, it's just going to be the temporary. Well, yeah. temporary has got the last one. I think. I can't remember if I drank much. Honestly, can't. So, uh, what was it? Two D four. Two D four plus two, but you're you're not drinking it yet. Oh, not drinking it yet. Okay. It's, uh, plus three modifier. Okay. Why can't he drink it yet? Because it's not his turn. Not his turn. Oh. Oh. I I haven't finished rolling everything. Did did you roll? The oh, plus three? okay. So I I thought I heard it was my turn. Oh. No, I was sorry. Just, no. Yeah, I was telling you, it's it's still the beginning of the round. Oh, okay. I apologize. I'm sorry. That's fine. You you rolled Weird. a four again. Wait. Did you did you roll again for this round? I don't no, think I, you did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I, I don't see you roll. I didn't yeah, see you roll. Yeah. No, he hasn't rolled. Yeah. Roll it. Y'all didn't roll the four. He still rolled a four. <laughs> it's not the kind of four we wanted. Y'all didn't got rolled a one on his initiative. That's twice in a row, isn't it? For me? No, because uh, no, not for you. It's like it was, for, it was one another number of one. So, oh. it to be honest, it narratively fits that Yeldon's going this fast for what's ha gonna happen next. That is true. I gotta look up what his favorite enemy does again. Uh, you get a plus four bonus to hit. No extra damage though. Uh, and minus four to reaction penalty, or I'm guessing that's if they try to talk. That yeah, that's that's if you encounter them uh, and they're not immediately hostile. You're gonna have a disposition against them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then we have a bigger concern at the moment. Yeah, but this is his you life goal. You though. can't stop him. It's too late. <laughs> if you're gonna stop him, the w correct way was not to mention Drow. All right, everyone uh, has everyone rolled. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Braxton doesn't know not to mention Drow because he's not been yeah. told not to mention Drow. All right, Yeldon. So no, Yeldon never mentioned his hatred of the Drow, so you would nobody would know. He probably anyway. would have mentioned his backstory a little, but not to this amount. Amount. So, so Yeldon, it's your turn. Going. You're going down. Cool. Yeah, I'm going down. I see oh. Drow. Okay. I attack said Drow. All right. You uh you flip through the uh the hole in the deck uh and swing with both of your blades. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna roll these at, at one at a time because I got modifiers. Look at Legolas go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's a hit. Good goal. Don't I think I was six because of the plus four. I think I was apt in my description of you. <laughs> nice, good job, but Yeldon. <laughs> to be fair, we kind of need those kind of rules considering what he's fighting and what we can't even see. Yeah. Especially when they've got a caster. 10 points of damage total. Mhm. Mm it's still standing. Uh your uh your blades slice into it, but uh um uh, not enough to uh kill him. All right, uh, you hear some chanting from down the hall, and um, 
You guys momentarily feel a little bit drowsy, but then uh, you shake it off. Oh, <laughs> they tried shit. to cast sleep. That's funny. And we all have more than uh, what? What was it like? Four hit dice. Yeah, Five. you all have more than four hit dice. But enemy doesn't know that. All right, uh, Leva, your turn. Okay, I'm going to cast the flame arrow onto the uh, uh, Amber Hulk. It's okay. a level nine. Uh, that is going to so. be. Let me see if you actually get two at that point, or if there's just one. But it's Every if it's from a scroll. Full level it's a scroll. Well. It's it's a ninth level scroll. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, but you, level. you get more arrows as you uh, um, level up. Uh, let's see. So he's really seeing if you get three or two. It says for every five yeah. levels, two, yeah. this five. Mental two attempts, image so you only get flame one. arrows ricocheting around the place. <laughs> oh, it's a shame you want one level higher. All right, so you you uh, um, you cast it from the scroll. Let me see if it uh, fails. Well, that means that uh, dry old blows at least tenth level. That caster. And a uh, flaming bolt comes uh, flying out of your fingers and hits the Umber Hulk. Let me see if he makes his saving throw. <laughs> oh, just does, just barely does not. Five uh, d six points of damage. It's like a mini fireball. Five d six. Six. Five d yeah. six. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's two bolts at tenth level. What? Yeah. Tell you what would be nice. I know she doesn't have it. it would be a lightning bolt in a straight line. <laughs> no, that would, would kill us. Yeah. <laughs> No, it wouldn't. It would kill all of them, because they're all lined up in a straight line right now. That would kill me and the other fighter. All right, Higamus. Oh, I, you'll die for the cause, right, Arka? Higamus brings a health. Honorable death, not a backstabbing death. All right, you heal for uh, eight points of damage. Uh, and uh, Zarsha fishes out a, um, uh, a vial of her own and chugs it down. Ooh. Good heal, good heal. <laughs> oh yeah, Elvis would Yeldon would have been shouting and Elvis died drow scum or something <laughs> Yeah, Laughter will be picking up on this. <laughs> <laughs> well, Laughter, you wanna come help with the Umber Hulk or are you gonna go help against the drow? I'm healing uh Braxton. Zarsha looks uh, uh a lot better now, uh after after that. Uh Laftal, your turn. Hang on, I just gotta remember which Bell scroll I'm casting it from, so I think I got the I am casting Caroline Wind, so. Okay. Is there a different uh, level? Yeah, there's I got different levels on one of them. One sixth. I'm casting the sixth one. <laughs> I want the, the reliability ideally. It's a five percent. Yep, it's fine. And that's how much Braxton gets. Oh that one worked. Alright, six hit points. Six. Not bad. I'm trying to keep the fighters in the fight. <laughs> I'm at like I'm at like what twelve hit points. All right, the uh, Umber Hulk uh, attacks Zarsha again. Come on, come on! I I this wasted that lay hands. Only hits with uh, uh, its bite. We didn't waste it for yeah. seven points of damage. Oh, he's still hopefully up. she's still up. Like I say, you oh, she's she's extra... she's a lot better now. She uh drank a potion of. Uh, so he probably a drank a drinking. potion of extra healing. Yeah. Uh, Braxton, your turn. How how tall is the companion way? Ten feet. Ten feet. How tall is the number hawk? Uh, eight feet. Eight feet. Okay. So Sasha's a little taller. <laughs> That's me. <clears throat> uh, so Braxton comes forward a bit and pulls out uh, Higamis's bomb and shouts, <laughs> "Fire in the hold!" and tries to throw it down here. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, where where were you trying to target? Past Are you not uh, to target these guys. He's just past throwing the it down the corridor. Past yeah. the Neogi. Why well, past at, them? At, at, towards the the rear Neogi. Okay, so you're, you're trying to hit him. All right. Yeah, it's ten feet in diameter. Old. Yeah. The idea is not to get the bomb, Come back that and blow us up. That would be funny. That 
That would be so poetic justice. Okay, go me. ahead and uh, roll to attack. But it might hit. It might hit this on the hulk. The other on the hulk here. Oh, well, it's now going to be in combat. Put it on. What's your thaco? Thaco. Base thaco. A modified thaco is. And non-weapon proficiency, isn't it? Or... Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. Does he get throwing dexterity? To be honest. Uh, no. But that is still a hit, which... Well, actually, no, it's not, because it's long range. Um, that is a miss. Let me see. Uh, Does it as, matter? As long as it doesn't hit, the umber, uh, umber hole can blow up in our face. Well, it can only go forwards or behind. <laughs> yeah. Lit, well, I, I mean, can in front scatter or behind. into the wall, I imagine. Right? Scatter into the wall. That would be a hell of an angle to throw out. <laughs> Oh, just what it happens is it hits the ground and it bounces, and right. Those rooms are not open. Higgins no, went not. through the uh, cracks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, I was hoping Higgins would be... open the door. <laughs> okay, uh, you uh, only hit the 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 rear one. Uh, you you threw it too far. Uh, um, so and. Uh, that's going to draw everyone into the fight now. It it, it bounces off. It it hits the the um the wall behind it, um but just close enough to uh, deal some damage. So go ahead and roll the damage. Right. What was the damage for the bomb again? I don't think it. Three d six, I believe. Three d six. I don't think it cast. It ca managed to cast a spell this round, so you interrupted its spell. If it no, was... he tried to cast sleep on you guys. Oh. All right, seven points of damage. Oh, well, better than nothing. Mm -hmm. Nice um, corridor. And uh, th there, there is a, a loud boom uh, through, uh, you know, through the the area. Does, does it break the doors, the four doors in the area? No, it does not. Okay. Uh, wasn't it, the the angle of it was not not good enough for that, uh, and the damage wasn't good enough to really. Uh, damage the walls, uh, other than you know, like substantially, uh, they, they might be weaker and stuff it like was that. Ten but... damage, you might have done a whole point of damage. All right, Ocker, your turn. Ocker, he's putting his stuff back on. I think right? he's muted. Yeah, did he step away? Uh. Okay, Maybe. well, then uh, I'm assuming that he's just uh, picking up his stuff. Um, Does he not have a... Mm. Say, I can't remember if he drank the potions. Uh, he said he was picking up his... Uh, yeah. His, getting yeah. his weapons Sword back. shield and putting it back on, yeah. All right. Uh, Yeldon, uh, the two doors uh, that you can see off this uh, corridor area, they open up. Uh-huh. Is it more drow? Yep. More, Your more favorite drow coming enemy. <laughs> oh, no. I don't mean to laugh, but this is kind of like you got what you wanted. <laughs> 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 you really did. He's gonna be mince meat at the end of this. We're not gonna Maybe. see. We're not gonna see him again. He's gonna be dead but, down there. Well, as long as there's something to bring back, if you yelled on, then he could be resurrected. Uh, Oh, the debts that we keep incurring. <laughs> this... <sighs> We're going to be in debt forever, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Well, considering Lothal can never cast Resurrection or Raise Dead. You can't? No, because no. I don't have access to Necromancy. Alright, but uh, another one comes out of the uh, room in uh, here to replace the one that uh, died. Let me go ahead and Get him out, and he comes out. If only Yeldon had held back, he could have just chopped their heads off as they poked them through the hole. Assuming that they yeah, that way. but he he he's not thinking rationally anymore. Is right. there any known traits about Drow that I would know? Uh define. I mean, like, what do you mean known you traits? By elves, right? No. Yeah, I was raised in a major elven city. Uh, ever a meet so. I mean, you know um, that they tend to be evil and, and 
have magical powers and stuff like that. How similar are they to... All right, never mind, never mind. All right. Uh, they do both uh, miss you, Yeldon. I was actually wondering if they got blend fighting as a Response trait. Response is like you're gonna have to do better than that, in Elvish. Um, they can probably speak Elvish. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they they oftentimes can. All right. Uh, Royard is going to drink a potion. And he does not get as many as Zarsha, because it was just a normal potion of healing. Um, but uh, he, he, he looks at uh, the whole uh, Yeldon g uh, going through there, and he says, Well, we can't leave him down there, can we? <laughs> Laughter's like, uh, We can't fight everything. <laughs> Uh, all right, so Zarsha did not uh, attack this round, so she does not get her second attack. Um, all right, everyone uh, go ahead and uh, roll for initiative. If I draw an item out of my pouch, that's going to be using an item, even if it's just dropping it. Yeah, I mean, that's what you, that's your action for the, the round. Uh, I'm going to be drinking a potion that's plus three, right? Yeah. Can Braxton drink another healing potion without exploding? No, that's uh, the wrong roll. Temporary one, right? That's no. the wrong roll. roll. That's the wrong roll. All right. <laughs> yeah, you um, can have your seventeen if you want. <laughs> you oh, can. Yeah. I can't remember if you drank a regular healing potion. I knew yeah, you got a temporary uh, one. He took. Uh, he drank the extra healing last game. Oh. I'm planning to drink the extra healing. You should have round. a temporary one then. Still, yeah. temporary ones. He's it's already gone. Is that all right? You, you've drank yeah, two healing potions, on. Yeah, out of the. He's so done extra healing you, and you the temporary have, healing. Yeah, you, so you, you you have you don't actually know. Yeah, uh, oh, he doesn't actually know. Yeah, the last time you were under the effects of a uh, of a potion that lasted for uh, several days, uh, a week. So. You know, and you're it's still under that. Good. You don't know how long the effects of a. Um, a recently imbibed instantaneous potion. You, you don't know how that that what what the effects of that are. Now I will say uh, that, that rounds, in terms of the chances of you actually exploding, you have a very low chance of actually exploding. So <laughs> you were lucky. You keep were that in mind. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well do it. <laughs> Braxton's I mean, you, going to oh, yeah. die. For, uh, hang to, you leave the other mid. Fight violently again. Right, then. Plus three. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you gotta you gotta take the, the, dying, the, the, so. the chance. Yeah. Yep. Well, at least you'll be fast. Yeah, you'll explode fast. Oh, and this is if I can't target my attacks to a different target if my main target attacks with my first attack, right? Wait, wait, what? What? Because I have two attacks. I can't be like, okay, attack you and you. No, you have to attack the same thing. Okay. You know, uh, only very well special creatures like trolls can actually uh, switch their, their attacks up. Okay. And it's not like we can do cleave attacks. Well, I mean, you you can sweep against creatures that are less than one hit die. It's kind of the same thing. It's not really. Uh, not against uh, these guys, though, that I'm fighting. No. All right, and let's see. That is. I've never really liked the. Um, I mean, I like the sweep rules, but I wish it would scale more with you. Like the higher level difference, then you can sweep. Well, the idea I think is that um, you are the the. One of the reasons why you get that is because uh, creatures that are less than one hit die are all also tend to be very small, so they're they're the uh, assumption is that they're swarming over you. Let's cleave them all. Cleave them. All right, everyone roll. Yeah. Uh, he's oh yeah, I 
reasonably fast. Mm -hmm. All right, Braxton. Good luck. Yeah. So, uh, okay. potion, regular potion of healing? Yeah, regular regular potion of healing. Dark blue from a decanter. So that I don't know why be... you guys always call that a decanter. <laughs> it's what we know it told us what it is when you... I didn't call it a decanter. I never once you called call... it a decanter. I thought you did once. Oh. What? Well, large file container. I think we call it large glass. So it should be 2d4 plus 2, yeah? Large graduated cylinder. Woohoo! Wow. Braxton's just getting unlucky with the heal rolls. It's six points you didn't have before. Uh, it's 2d4 plus 2, not plus yeah. 4. Yes. So it's 4. Oh, sorry. So oh, it's 4, four HP. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. The minimum effect out of the risk of death. Alright, Laftal. I am dropping my dagger from my pouch to add continual darkness into where Yeldon is. I know he's got blind fighting, so... <laughs> uh, I'm hoping that might give him an edge. Alright, so... You, you, I mean, keep in mind that, that the hole it's... is is the gravity plane, so you actually have to throw it through. Yeah, I, I throw it as far as I can. Okay. Or a reasonable mm. guess. Yeah, All if right. you drop it through... So I roll an attack drop? Uh, Do you think no, you can I'm aim just saying, and want to in there? I'm just the saying that the, the, the point is that... Um, if you just drop it, it, it rests in the gravity plane. So it'd be effective. Oh, yeah, no, I'd throw it down into that area. Oh, do you think he could, like, aim at one of the drow with the dagger? Oh, no, because as soon no, as he pulls then it out... he would know where it is. Number the one, he can't... He, he, he's not in a position to see them. Um, and number two, because he never said that he was looking. And number two, the second he pulls it out of the, uh, the pouch, everyone is, in, is uh, encloaked in Mind. darkness. Until he okay. throws it through. I just and... thought it would have been funny if he hit a drown in the face with a d darkness dagger. What's yeah, but then the area of effect do... on it? Uh, bear with me. Uh, um... uh, 60 foot radius. Is that the stat block? Or are you reading Sorry? the description? Because I believe Continual Darkness has a um, smaller I'm... smaller radius yeah. of Continual Light. I don't know them off the top of my head. Should I should be in the description. The Check the description. Magic. Uh, gra the reverse of Continual... Uh, the reverse spell, Continual Darkness, causes... Uh, yeah, uh, similar to the Darkness spell, but of greater duration and area. It doesn't actually say... Yeah, it doesn't state. Alright, then it is 60 feet. Um, so, does Infravision so not work in darkness? No, actually, that's, the whole, no, that's why I want... Magical darkness. That's why I wanted to do it. Okay. Need... Yeah, I'm going to go like... with it, but I need to I need to review that, because darkness 15 foot radius specifically blocks out Infravision. I don't remember if this does, but I'm going to go with it for now. Um... Because I don't want to, I don't want to read the spell description. All right, so it uh, just says reverse in this spell compendium, reverse the continual light. It, it doesn't have a description. I mean, at least I don't remember that. Well, it, no, the the description is in the is in continual light. I can copy and paste it. No, 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 yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So okay, we'll figure so, it out later. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll look at it like uh, during the break. But for now, I'll I'll roll with it. Um, all right, so... If there's, like, a continual light item, then it would cancel it out or something. Yeah, and well, I don't yes. believe anyone has theirs out right now. Um, I oh, a direct casting of continual light. Well, let's just keep going. Yep, all right, so the entire area that you're in, Yeldon, is uh, uh, encloaked in darkness now. Um, <laughs> Laftal's like, good luck, Yeldon. He and says, like, no, there is basically a shaft of darkness coming up out of the hole, um, but... It, it works like light, so it doesn't fill up your area. Uh, Ocker, your turn. I'm drinking a potion of extra healing. Okay. I'm going to remember to make more of those stackers. So, what do I three. roll for this? 3d8 plus 3? Mm -hmm. Just quaff the whole thing down. I need it. I need it so bad. Oh, good oh nice. Very That's nice. That's a very good roll. 
Ah! Right. So I think it's... he was gonna go back down there, but now it's dark. <laughs> Yeldon's in his element, you know. He he wanted to take Clyde's player for a reason. <laughs> he really is right now. All right, well, you only uh, can get a minus two. Then you're plus four. You're getting plus six still. Yeldon, getting... you are you you uh, right. sense that you are being surrounded. Uh, you mm -hmm. can still get through the hole if you need to because you're standing right at the edge. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you can sense with your uh, uh, blind fighting uh, ability that uh, you are being surrounded. Come mm -hmm. through the hole and fight with us. I see. I don't know if they had blind fighting as well because they're normally dark living dwellers. So, kind of makes. Yeah, sense I'll tell you right time. now that they do all have blind fighting. Yeah. Well, I mean, it just reduces. I mean, the the thing is, is that it, it just reduces the the penalties as opposed to actually gives you a benefit. Yeah, it goes from minus four to minus two. It's better. All right, Yeldon, all uh, you do get hit two, for two points of damage, um, but you manage to um, dodge out of the way of some of the other uh, sword blows that come towards you. And I don't think you take a penalty to armor class and dark with it as well. I'm impressed, no. Yeldon. I don't think you can get an, uh, an attack ba rear attack advantage if they can't see. It's just hitting. Yeah, correct. You have to be able to see that they're it's the rear. All right. Um, the Umber Hulk attacks Zarsha, and it does manage to miss all of its attacks. Thank goodness. Uh, Royard's turn. He sees this. Uh, well, he he doesn't see, but he he hears what's going on. Um, and, and he says, I'll help you out, Yeldon. <laughs> oh God, it's dark, Yeldon. They can see in the dark, I would say. He's, uh, oh, I mean, he, he's got, he's got blind fighting too, so that's oh, something that wow. a lot of, a lot of warriors do take, but. I don't have that, so I can't help you, sorry. Well, I mean, you uh, could help him, you're just taking a greater penalty. Minus four. All right, but, uh, with that, that is a hit. Uh, he does manage to hit, and he is swapped over to using his uh, bastard sword two-handed. That means greater damage, right? Yep. And he hits uh, one for 11 points of damage. Nice hit. You will not know exactly which one was hit, however. No, <laughs> I don't know which one I want that I did hit before, though. Uh, Yeldon, your turn. So I'm going to be going for the one that I hit before. Okay, so which one is that? The one to the south. Of me. Okay. And I got plus four. Cool. My main hand is 12 Thacko. My off hand is 13 Thacko. <laughs> <laughs> you hit with both. Just hit. Very nice. 2d8 plus four. Okay, uh, you feel the uh, um, the body of that one uh, crumple uh, under your uh, your sword blows. All right, and let's see you don't know what happens there. Okay, uh, Higamus, your turn. I drink a potion of speed. Okay. You drank a potion of healing already, correct? That was a temporary. Uh, oh, the temporary one. Yes. Okay. You turn into Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I see what Higamus is buffing. All right. <laughs> uh, so you age a year. Okay. And How much have you aged now? Like four years? You... Something like that. Hold on. It's at the top of my character sheet. One second. You get uh, uh, double attack uh, bonuses. You will also get uh, um, a minus, minus two, two to your years, initiative. Actually. Minus two to my initiative, plus one to my attack rolls. That's what um, you said. Let me see. Is there any plus one? Age, hmm. pace. Pace. I uh, you know don't what? think you gain a bonus to, to hits. I don't I don't see that in the potion oh. of speed description. Um, oh, okay. Potion uh, of speed doesn't necessarily work the exact same way as uh, haste. Okay, so what do I get? I get an extra attack 
and my initiative goes down. To... You're, no, you you get twice the number of attacks. Twice. So you get to attack four times because you oh, get geez. almost seven fighter. All right. You're gonna be able to just wade through those. Just videos. hope you don't get charmed and turned against us. Twenty-two years old, I should be seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you got a potion of youth at some point. That yeah. old's gonna say, "Well, you had the other, but you never drank it." So I have the potion. Loving. I have the potion of youth. Yeah. Though. My no, character. I have it read down on my character sheet, so... Yeah, yeah I know, yeah, but... I've got one written down as well. How we have a tendency of losing items. I keep all my items recorded on my character sheet. No, I mean stolen. We only lose items when we take on dragons as passengers. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. So, next up, Leva. You are trying to pull out a bear again? Yes. Alright. Are you throwing behind Pocket again? Bear. Well, I'll take something else as well. But Higher low. Is... I'm sorry? Do you want high, high or, or low? low? High. Okay. High for big. Hi. All right. Maybe and high. you uh, reach into your pouch, pull out a uh, small brown object, and where are you? Are you tossing it behind the Umber Hulk? Or... Yes. Okay. Um, behind. All right. Uh, and uh, it grows into a, uh, a brown... Uh, Bulldog. Oh, <laughs> that's not bad. It's a have fighting it, dog, at least. Heaven, heaven, bite the Ember Hulk's butt. <laughs> Bulldog, I'll never let go. Just, some, just a moment, I need to write that down. Bulldog. Okay, and uh, can I tell it what it? to attack? Yeah. You gonna mm -hmm. get it to go for the Neogi again? Uh, yes. All right. Go ahead and uh, make an attack roll. I think my sanctuary runs out this turn as well. Okay. I don't know if dropping that dagger in broke it, by the way. It did not. I think it missed. Yep. Uh, it does uh, run up and, and try to uh, tear into uh, the Neogi, but uh, um, the Neogi manages to dodge out of the way. The tiny mouse is not good enough to attack the Neogi. So you see a bulldog charging it. It is reasonably it is terrifying. It is frightening, and if you know about bulldogs, once it... Bulldog Locks has a tendency here, yeah. never to let go once it grabs you. Yeah, but it has to grab you first. Yeah, All the bulldogs I've seen are lazy. Oh, the thing is, okay. is the Ogi are more terrifying than bulldogs, so they probably wouldn't care. Well, anything that's trying to kill you, they would care about. Well, it's it's a, an eel with big teeth on top of a spider's body. Yeah. Alright, uh, the... Uh... Dog just thinks it's a big sausage. The one Yogi is even... uh, moving back a bit. I don't think they would care at all if <laughs> if, if you had thrown like a Shiba Inu or a Pomeranian at them. Well, all right, uh, Zarsha's turn, and she is going to attack uh, the Umber Hulk, and she misses. Um, anyone else getting second attacks this round? Most of us uh, have drink potions. Okay. Can I? Say something to Brax, because all I did was drop a dagger now. Yeah. Uh, I tell Brax and that I've got one more spell I can cast on you, if you don't get into melee. Alright. What sort of spell? Another healing Fine. spell. In other words, there's a chance for me to lose the spell entirely if you're in melee. Rayard does miss down below, and... Oh, jeez. Zarsha misses again. Okay. Those are the uh, second attacks. Alright. Initiative time. You can use a ranged weapon. You'd have to drop the sword. You could risk another uh, potion. <laughs> I don't yeah. think Brax has got any more healing potions. I I mean, if you got like, have, a, like, a I, potion I speed or potion. something like that. that might I, be I have a potion of temporary healing on myself, but I'm, uh, I, I'm in a good spot, so I don't want to use it. <laughs> My what plan is, is, to... is doing. Is he going to be busting in and chopping some fools up? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Not yet. Not yet. <sighs> Can he's going uh... to burst in on that? I'm hope getting high off whatever's in that barrel. Uh, can people deliberately be slower, Ward? Um. 
Uh, as in, as in, uh, could Braxton get his sword ready and wait for Laftal to heal him? No. Um, well, if you if you, you want to if you up. want to try and delay your action, then it's uh, a plus one modifier. Uh, in which case, if you move after, then you move after. But um, otherwise, it's forego your turn. Well, you can give yourself plus one, yeah. But if he and still moves faster than you, I mean, if you still move his faster, his name's than higher than mine. He'll still be in front. He has because uh, <laughs> he he's a B. Can, can Braxton change his name to Zebediah Braxton? <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it, do uh, it. If it if it is ordering alphabetically, I think Laftal should technically can, go for the uh, higher dexterity. Okay, how's this? Can Braxton not take his first attack with a sword, but still take the second one? No. Because it's technique, bah. it's not speed. Bah. Bah. I assume. Just uh. use your bow. Crossbow. Use your crossbow. He doesn't have a crossbow. That's He's good. a doesn't short bow. Oh. He's got crossbows on the ship. You got another effect on your staff, haven't you? You'd always try that out. You got a spear. Change it to a spear and poke. Would that is would that be um? Would that You're not dodging those. Politely, would I that think. stop um, Laftal from healing him? Uh, using the spear. If you if you want to uh, turn it into a spear and uh, I mean you can turn it into a, what is essentially an all pike, uh, which does have a speed factor of thirteen. What? <laughs> which is quite slow. Yeah. Yes. That would de that would guarantee you, you the heal. Or you know like a back or a battle axe or a slow weapon in general, but you'll lose your. Second yeah, pack. but you can't really mess her it like that. Like, you're going to pick a slow weapon. You don't know that I'm going slower. If I tell Braxton to hold back a turn, he could think about using a spear. That does make sense. Yeah, I mean, so, so it's either... I mean, you need it. I need you to decide what you're doing. Yeah, Yeah. all right. What? What's the... Well, I don't know what, what attack rolls for the spear, but you can sort it out for yeah. me. Um, what... Uh... What initiative is that going to be? Modify. 13? Uh, 13. 13, yes. Where... No, it does mean Oka could probably get in as well. And you can just spear from behind. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be gone before uh, Braxton. Okay, everyone has rolled? Yeah. Um, okay. Wow, I'm going to fast compare you people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have my good weapon. Oh, I'm still fast, for some reason. I should be six, not five. Well, I could be going fast if I used a warhammer, but I'm not trained in it, and I don't. I want a better chance to hit. What's the speed of the warhammer? Uh, speed thing going. So, so Lafa, oh. go ahead. What are you doing? Uh, casting the eighth level cure light winds on Braxton. All right, so you have fifteen percent Just... chance for failure. Yeah. Works fine. Woohoo! That's my last healing spell. And it heals for one. Yeah, re <laughs> <laughs> re re yeah. DM prerogative, reroll. There you go. All right, here you go. I say you just do half <sighs> rather than reroll. No, no, just. Thanks, old. I mean, if, if it rerolled <laughs> yeah. and, and still got a one, then I'd be like, all right, it's a one. But uh, occasionally, yeah, especially when, when things are going uh, are, are tight. Uh, Not many one. Yeah. When things are well, going this out. There was out. also a freaking 8th level spell. Come on. All right. Oh, eighth level. Higamus, show us what you can do, Captain. Uh, not Higamus' turn yet. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Actually, oh. wasn't enough. It, it didn't sort properly. Uh, it's the monsters. There we go. Uh, but yeah, oh, it is wow. still the monsters. All right. Uh, the Umber Hulk is uh, attacking Zarsha. Well, Umber Hulks are faster than I gave them credit for. Helps so when they roll a one. Weapon, so plus three. And it does manage to bite her for five points of damage. But she's still fine, right? I, I mean, she's she's she was unconscious briefly, so no, but she's okay on hit points right now. I'll I'll tell you that. She's she's fine. She's, <laughs> she's also big, big, very big. And she is quite large. Fifty percent. All right. Uh, the uh, Neogi that the dog is attacking uh, 
casts a spell at it, and uh, a single missile flies out and hits the dog for five points of damage. The dog is still alive. Nice. I'm Keep happy going, that dog. they're I'm happy that they're wasting their spells on the dog. Speaker, is Arcus yep. Wolf not recovered from that? Oh yeah, how's my wolf doing? Uh, your wolf will still not enter the uh, um, the 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 shadowy area. Uh, okay. The shadowy area. Uh, let me check the duration on that. It might be. No, my sanctuary's run out by now. Your sanctuary has run out. All right. I mean, I'm not. Sh I'm sure Blight's got like several, like twenty, thirty minutes left on it or something like that. Yeah. All right, uh, Higamus, your turn. I call upon the power of my sword quietly. So you're not attacking this round. Correct? Not attacking. Oh, correct. All right. Very nice. I'm just, I need to buff a little bit. <laughs> I was knocked down pretty hard last time. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think it misses being a stealthy hippo. Yeah. <laughs> so what's Lava doing? Uh, not it's not Leva's turn yet. Uh, the Dro are attacking. Yeah. And let's. Are they all guys? Uh, yes. Yeah, so far as uh, yeah. um, uh, Braxton saw, but he didn't see that many of them. Mm -hmm. I wonder how why so many. Because <laughs> then. norm assess society, isn't it? So it makes sense for the male to be together. Yeah. Oh. Dr yeah, it's matriarchal. All Braxton did is pop out the hole and say, "Drow in the next deck thought you'd want to know." <laughs> so they use the yeah they use the males as the mook soldiers in that society. Unless they're rebels against the society. Mm-hmm. Which right. they might be, judging by the priest I found. Well, yeah, that's interesting. Male priest, male drow priests are kind of illegal in drow society, I uh, believe. So, uh, Yeldon, uh, you feel a sword go flying by you. Uh, it does not hit you. Um, <laughs> whether, it was, whether it was thrown or slipped out of hand, you don't know. Uh, you are welcome to uh, make a guess. What do I want to use for, to, to represent that this guy has no weapon now? I'm um, guessing he rolled a one. He might try and grapple you. Yeah, he, would... he got a one. There we go. We'll go with that. I'm going to attack it. Uh, hold on, hold on, the... hold on. Is that your hold turn? On. Okay. That was uh, that was that was one of them. Um, let's see. Two uh, more <laughs> are attacking you. Yeah, you felt more come in. Turn. You felt more come in. Uh, they do miss, however, and uh, Royard is. You you hear uh, Royard grunt uh, in pain as he is hit for an amount of damage. Five points of damage. Yeah, I'm going to be attacking the. I'm going to be attacking the one that lost the sword. Um. All you right. Don't know. Uh, you, then, Would you? I, well, when, I know when, it's turn, we'll, we'll, when it's your turn, we'll 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 discuss it when it's your turn. Leva, your turn. Well, Leva is sick of being upstairs all the time, so she comes downstairs, and she still believes in the in the power of what's it called? Uh, gaze reflection. So, so she casts that on herself. Okay. You do the level variation. Yep. Is she affected by the gleam? Or... Uh, I need you to make a saving throw. Versus level seven isn't spell. Is, so... She's seventh level. Don't know if that is so. Well, yeah, but she doesn't so... have a modifier to her hit points. It's 7 plus 1. Yeah, oh. that was the same as last time. Oops. Nope. Okay. Uh, you are going to suffer combat penalties, then. I believe. In what way? Um, I will look it up in a minute. Uh, it's going to be a, a an attack roll penalty. So, I mean, if you never okay, make anything, not... if you never uh, make an attack roll penalty, then it won't matter. Do I do it? Does the bulldog inherit that? No. Okay. 
All right. Oh. Um, so oh, Leva, oh, you you get down the stair, the uh, the ramp, and you cast your spell. Um, mm -hmm. but rather than what you f what you uh, expect it to be, you suddenly spin around 180 degrees and are facing up the ramp. Oh. <laughs> she just turns another back wild search. Yep, like another wild surge. Surprisingly <laughs> <laughs> lucky with those. Are you really rolling them? Yeah, no, that that's that's what I got. I'm making up for all the other times when when there wasn't yeah. one. Yeah. What about the dog? Uh, you can attack with the dog. So dog I'm dog. now facing back to the ramp. Yeah. Okay. You can just well, the dog yeah, bites yeah. something. That dog hit. Mm-hmm. Go nom, ahead nom, and nom, nom, nom. roll uh, 1d4 for damage. Not much, but still. The it dog bites now the sausage sensor. Now locked. Uh, it, it bites... No, well, no, it doesn't. Um, it, it doesn't have that. Effect. It's just a dog. Uh, it, it bites and uh, um, just manages to nip one of the uh, uh, Neogi's legs. Still. Better and... than zero. Let's see. Um... All right. Uh, the farther Neogi is casting a spell. Ooh. And the dog. Uh, and to, as far as you guys can tell, no effect. All right, Yeldon. Okay. So which one are you trying to, uh, attack? I'm going to go based off of the direction that, you know what? No, I'm not going to attack the one that has no weapon. I'm going to just, if there's a new one south of me, I'm going to attack that. Uh, yeah, all right. All right, 24. Does racial... Those are both hits. ...in fact, when, you're, when you can't see your opponent. Uh, he knows that they're there. Yeah, no. I know that they're there and that they're... Yeah, but uh, it's, uh, this might sound silly, if, but... Right, but see... It, how it, does the... He, how, he 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 believes he believes they they're dro. So for example, yeah, yeah 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 I know I'm I'm not on about that. I'm about how does it give a bonus, so to speak? Is it like training or something? No, no it's, it's hatred. It's oh. just pure it's unbridled pure rage. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, son. All right, uh, you hear the uh, uh, figure in front of you grunt in pain as uh, both of your blades uh, cut into him, but it is not dead. All right, and let's see. Um, yeah, Zasa. Okay, uh, it is Zarsha's turn. You guys don't know what that was, and Zarsha is uh, attacking with her axe, and she misses. My, uh, is it Ocker now? Yep, your turn. Okay, I'm gonna move here, and I'm gonna smack it with my uh, mace. Okay. <sighs> That's a hit. hit. Where okay, people, six um... points of damage. Is it still standing? Yep. Okay. All right, Royard is going to going to attack uh, one of the draw near him, and he misses. I I, I think the uh, the roll twenty effect is now affecting my dice. Good. Keep it affecting just your dice. <laughs> well, yeah, but that means that Zarsha and Royard don't get to uh, uh, hit either. Yeah, but mm. that means that we get to kill everything. <laughs> All right, Braxton, your turn. <laughs> okay, Braxton's going to take his unfeasibly long weapon, and uh, <clears throat> he's looking towards the bottom of the Umber Hulk, so he doesn't look at the eyes, like he was told to. And he's going to have a hack at it, but uh, I... Don't know what I need to hit. All right, just you know, roll. And let's see, what's your base stacko? Um, base stacko is fourteen. Uh, that is a hit. Way. Don't know what sort of damage it does. Uh, all right, so it's an all pike. So you deal, um, one d twelve, and let's see, you've got a plus one. 
no, I think you have a plus two for strength right now, so uh, you do not know what the um, modifier is on this beyond that, though. So what, I'll do D12 plus two. Yep. And I'll add on the rest. Very nice. All right. Uh, 11 points of damage plus whatever. Well, I actually look <laughs> that up. Okay. Hey, okay. That is going to... All right. Uh, you... Poke it in the you eye. You keep your eye... Well, no, because he wouldn't poke it in the eyes because uh, he's specifically yeah. looking down. Uh, but you do spear it in the gut. Nice. And it dies. It good dies. Job. Oh, good. Oh, you skewered it. Let's out a, a, a gasp of pain and dies. Oh, so Did the eyes stop being confusing after they die? Old. Uh, no, it, the the confusion lasts. Oh, the eyes. Yes, yes. They, go, they go dull. Um. All right. Uh, Lafto, you were asking me something. Actually, uh, if I'm gonna, uh, ca I'll carry on. I'll pay him to you. Cause... Okay. Well, I should get the second attack. What's she going to do now? Uh, Zarsha does get a second attack, and let's see. Um, Royer does, and that's it, correct? No one else does? Yeah, all right. Pigmas hasn't been attacking. But... Zarsha says, it's just Neogi down there, as far as we can tell. I'm going to help Royard. Good luck! Uh, so she's going to go help without the drow. And that pushes this guy out of the way. And okay, she's so... down there, and she is getting her second attack. But she misses. And Royard gets his second attack. And that is a hit. Nice. Is it a critical hit? No. It's just a regular hit. I switched dice. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta, you gotta uh, change the dice around. Uh, I'm not sure how to ask what I was asking. Um, I kind of. I mean, there was a scenario before, and it was kind of like beneficial when I um. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, it would also it. certainly be. It could certainly be. Would it be uh, funny? Appropriate. Sure. All right, then I'll do it. So, I uh, oh. don't know what the rule is, though. So. That's going to be <laughs> plus three. All right, uh, and uh, you had a question for me, Ocker? Yeah, so what would be... Uh, what can I roll to go and grab my sword and then... Uh, would I be able to fight the Neogi with my sword, or can I not? Uh, your I attack... This, I mean, it, your, your action this round would be retrieving your sword and putting your um, mace away or dropping it. I wouldn't be able to do anything else, even Correct. if I dropped the mace. Correct. Okay. Uh, Might as well put the mace away and pick up the sword then. If you, yeah. Because I want to get that sword. Where it is. Yeah, so what would that be? A D3? Plus um, a D10 plus 3? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, I need to have a lot more effective with the sword than I am with any other weapon. I'm checking something for Laftal. All right. Um, okay. Uh, remember, Laftal, that uh, you will have to make an uh, attack roll and try to hit. So everyone else uh, rolling for initiative as well? Okay. Anything... Anything special for Leva? Uh, what did what do you want to do? You just well, spun around. You're, you're she had the, everything else is normal. Yeah. You, you, okay. The, the the wild search literally just spun you around 180 degrees, and that was it. Oh, what a pity. <laughs> okay. Um, you do need to make an active. If you want to use your uh, the pearl, you do need to make an active uh, attempt to do so. That's that's the uh, an action for a round. Okay, that's good to know, but I didn't want to use the pearl. Okay, well, I was just letting uh, you know because you had a question earlier and I wasn't sure yes. if I communicated that properly. So it's a, it will be one round for the pearl and one round then for the for the spell. To cast a spell, yeah, I mean. Okay, good. Thank you. 
and it has to be a, a spell that you uh, have memorized, you had memorized um, yeah. recently. So I assumed that there was just verification. Yep. Okay. I forget. What was the, the, the wand was plus three, wasn't it? Uh, yes. Yes, they are. Um, now remember, Big Mac, you have additional powers on your on your rod that you could always try to make use of. Oh yeah, <clears throat> you'll suffer that drains life or restores life. I think you could try. Uh, hang on. That's a power that you've <laughs> had for like the longest time. Might be hang useful on. in this scenario with your low health. Well, it's an uh, apt opportunity to see what it does. Hang on. Are you looking at a description or someone? Yeah. Oh. All right. And... Paranoise, cool fear, restore life for another. Vampiric Maybe. touch. Probably. So, um... Braxton has to talk to the sword. Uh, no, you can you can just will it to do something. I mean, you can you could talk to it if you want, if you want to roleplay that out. But well, he was talking <laughs> to it before. Yeah. Oh, he's talking to a weapon before. Okay, everyone, uh, roll. Or do you still need to roll? You know, if Laftal notices that, he might start getting an idea of casting telepathy on you and start making you think that the sword's talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Uh, you, uh, do you still need to roll, thing. Braxton? Yeah, I've, I've failed. Uh, I think I rolled. Okay. I, I had a problem with the tracker, so I changed it manually to eight. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, all right. Uh, the very first thing that happens is that... Uh, um, a uh, an oil lantern on the wall uh, near the dog um, bursts uh, into a gout of flame and uh -oh. that does enough damage to kill the dog. Oh. Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. Alright. Dog uh, killer. Let's see. <laughs> Zarsha's turn. She is going to attack uh, a Drow Warrior down here. Why do the dice hate Zarsha today? Oh, she's like after a at, like <laughs> once it was like <laughs> Leva enlarges her, and then all of a sudden she can't hit anything. <laughs> all she right. Killed them. The first uh, number Hulk after she got enlarged. Yeah, yeah, but then, but basically since then, <laughs> her attacks have been terrible. All right, uh, Laftal, your turn. He's not. Sh Do I know vaguely how much of an area will affect? You have no idea how much of the area. All right, I'm gonna is. try to throw it somewhere around there. Okay. Try. Okay. Um. I don't know, but I'm gonna try. Go ahead and make an attack roll. I mean, I can fly. I can give myself better positioning if it would help. You, no, you can't. I mean, you can't see right. in there anyway. Uh, that's a good roll. What's your thaco? Uh, I think it's 18. Base thaco. Is it just good for dagger? Da though? Yeah, that's not dagger. Well. If um, missile reaction, I get plus two, but I don't think that is. I think it's just uh, 18. Uh, no, if, if it's it's a missile weapon. It's considered a missile weapon. So you get a plus oh, two. Oh, then damage. I... Yeah, that would be on the dice then. Okay. Um, that's pretty good. Um... Oh, is it another mag magical darkness he's throwing through? Around? You're gonna find out. Don't tell him. All right, uh, Yeldon, uh, you hear uh, the the shattering of... Did I say what that was in, Laftal? If not, it's in clay. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Uh, 
I can check, but yeah, it's something smashable, I assume. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Yeldon, you hear the shattering of pottery nearby and uh, um, kind of a uh, 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 gloopy, slurpy sound. Um, and that's it. All right, Leva, your turn. I use the uh, wand of uh, magic missiles. Okay. Can can I actually see the thing then? The the neogi down here. Yes, they're just kind of vague forms, but you can see them, and that that's good enough. Okay. Which one are you going for? Two, the first one. The first one for two missiles. All right. Two d four plus two. Yep. Mm-hmm. We replied that one day that you only get one missile come out, and you know your mom's dead. <laughs> Okay, seven points of damage. The uh, the missiles streak out of the end of the wand and uh, hit that guy for seven points of damage. Not bad. All right. And... Was he casting a spell? I'm sorry. Was he casting a spell? Uh, you don't know. That's true. I'm in the dark right now, literally. Yep. And let's see. I'm sure Yeldon singing "Hello Darkness, My Old Friend." <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. He's too young for that. Like Yeldon's over a hundred years old. <laughs> no, no song. Mm, yeah, actually, that person can't do anything. All right. Um. All right. Well, uh, this Neogi uh here is that you hit with your um magic missile. He he moves back. Uh, Braxton, your turn. Okay, Braxton's gonna charge forwards with spear. He's gonna skewer them. No, he's turned his sword back into the uh, his weapon back into the sword. Okay. Oh, He's going to charge gonna forward, it. shouting death to the Neogi, and then say to his sword, sword, paralyze these uh, creatures. All right, go ahead and make your attack roll. I don't know if that's how it works. Well, he'll have to find out. That is a hit. <laughs> go ahead and roll for damage. Okay. It's a D8. Probably going to die anyway. Oh, it would help if I could type properly. <laughs> if, if, if I if I roll a d seventy eight, it will die. Oh! <laughs> it is not dead. Uh, unfortunately, right. Kel surprise. <laughs> uh, don't you have strength, Braxton? Yeah, it's so, not enough. To, yeah. It's not enough. They, yeah. <laughs> Braxton spits on it for one point of damage. <laughs> Nicky, it's it's squirming for its life. It's trying to stay alive. All right, let's well, at least see. Braxton gets a second attack later. He can do another point of damage. Um, one of the draw attacks, Zarsha, and misses. Two of the draw attack, Royard, and miss. Uh, two of the draw attack, uh, Yeldon with swords. And miss, and one of them is going to uh, uh, you know, the back truck off. Down and pick up a weapon off of the one of the dead drow. <laughs> it won't be able to know where it is. Uh, but you, because uh, of darkness, you do not get an attack of opportunity against him. Mm -hmm. I know. Okay. Um, Neither would they against you. Another one comes in and also misses. Well, that is just it's like tag. It's like that freaking darkness is doing work for us. All right, yeah. Yeldon, your turn. Well, the well, one that at the same I hit time before. you can't hit as easily. Wow, actually you can. You're a ranger, so. Your ratio. Plus. I didn't realize it was hatred. I thought it was like special training or something. Nope, it is basically hatred. They are my enemy for life. Oh, my second attack misses for once. Yep. But uh, that is one hit, so go ahead and roll for damage. All right, you feel the uh, uh, figure crumple down. Uh, 
dead uh, at your feet. Um, actually, you know, I did forget something uh, to do because of... They all missed anyway, so... Uh, first of all... Do, do, do. Uh -oh. Um, I forgot this on the uh, on their turn. Uh, they, there should have been something else. Was the what I did or? Yep. He forgot to kill us. Yeah. That guy's there. That guy's there. They, uh, Yellen, you hear um, uh, cursing in uh, Dro as um, people clearly slip and fall uh, on something <laughs> slick. <laughs> oh, and uh, yeah, I was like, oh, that's what that pot was. All right, and Royard gets uh, his attack. And he misses. Okay, Braxen, the door to your left uh -huh. opens, and an Umber Hulk uh, roars and attempts to uh, claw at your face and body and everything. I like the way it knew Braxton was there. Yeah. Oh well, no, he. Well, it was it was Braxton shouting "Death to the oh, Yogi" yeah, outside the door. Yeah. And it went, yeah. "Hang on a minute." <laughs> we didn't know that. That's actually quite accurate. <laughs> I, that might not be a friend out there. Uh it does hit you with a claw. For oh, let's shot. see. Seven points uh, of damage. We lost a levy. Seven points of damage. Uh, well, as long as she gets back before her turn. Oh no, she <laughs> said she had to do something at 20 past. I don't know what. Oh what yeah. yeah. Okay, so... She said, uh, um, she just sent me a message. It is almost time for uh, the break anyway, since she's already had her turn. We'll take the break um, once we yeah, get through this round. round, so... Okay. Yeah. I, I, well, no, I didn't in. notice the time. Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess I'll run over, grab my sword, swap out the uh, mace for the sword, and can I get up to Braxton? You can get up to Braxton, yes. Okay. You haven't checked the side doors. All right, Higamus, your turn. Yeah, you can join the fight. All right. So oh. I'm gonna pop out here. Okay. <laughs> Say peek boo <laughs> and hit the sky. Oh, that's um, what you meant. <laughs> I swear he rolls a one, because you know ones have been our theme today. No. Does that oh, hit? Wow. <laughs> That's a hit. You get like four attacks. I don't think that thing's living. Ah, he's back. Ah, good. Back. Just in time for us to take a break in a moment. As soon as uh, Higamus starts murdering <laughs> everything. Oh wow! Okay. Here we go. Your first, uh, your your first hit does not kill him, but it does uh, really, really <laughs> ruin his day. Okay, my next attack. <laughs> yep, go ahead. Oh, this poor Neogi. He didn't know what. He... My Thaco is 14. That's it. Shouldn't have gone out of bed today. <laughs> I think they have a more oh, pressing target damage. now. It's dead. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Alright, well, not yet, not yet, because oh. uh, um, Zarsha and uh, Royard get their second attacks, and so does uh, Braxen. And Higamus, I presume. Well, Higamus will Higamus have. Higamus already oh, did all his attacks. No, no, he didn't He didn't do all of his attacks. He gets oh. his, he gets two more attacks afterwards. Oh. Is he still a haste? Yeah, he, he, he yeah, drank a potion speed. speed. Okay. Alright, Zarsha manages to uh, kill a uh, Drow Warrior. Nice. And Royard, he manages to hit for, ooh, very nice. Maximum damage, always nice. Does he kill it? No, he does not. All right, uh, Braxen. Uh, so, <coughs> Braxen again tries to... Chop up the Neogi. Okay. Mm, that might not no. be a hit. That is not a hit. Yeah, uh, Higamus is gonna finish. All right, Higamus, your turn. All right, move up. Hit that next guy, maybe. All right, go for it. 
Is that Higamus is like the walking. No, uh... my Thaku is uh, fourteen. That's probably done. I hit. That is a miss. Uh, he uh, <laughs> he's surrounded, but he he manages to uh, squeeze himself into a corner. Um, and, and then just... you swing again. <laughs> no, oh my God. Why? <laughs> well, at least it was on the last roll. <laughs> And uh, your sword does go uh, uh, flying down the hall past uh, um, Ocker. And of course it does. <laughs> of course it does. Because he's hasted. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's where we're going to take our level. break. We'll be back in about uh, ten minutes or so. Uh, we'll see what uh, um, what uh, Higamus decides to switch to uh, with his haste. So he's not going to get four attacks per round. Oh, oh, they're so glad. <laughs> Oh, I'm well, I got to the point where better. I get uh, three every two, though, so... That's How true. much room is yeah. there above? Because I could pick up the sword and just fly and pass it to him. Ten feet. There's not enough to fly over people. Ah, uh, what if I made myself smaller? Uh, it's still... You, you, there's not enough... You, you, you're you flying with the... Are you flying with the fly spell or wings? No, fly spell. Fly spell, okay. Uh, still, it's not really enough. Yeah. Is that still active? What you do is fly spell. The fly spell is, is going to fly. Fly it's lasts a long time. What you do, left is you pick up the sword, and you stick it in the uh, umberhawk, and then Higamus pulls it out the umberhawk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be back in about ten minutes or so, and uh, see you guys there. <laughs> <laughs> 